Hello, sweet friends. It's Crystal here, and welcome back to my cottage. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some cozy winter decor ideas with you guys, as well as some of my favorite winter recipes. I've put a few more logs on the fire just to get the cottage nice and cozy for y'all. I wanted to start out by sharing my favorite cup of tea for the winter time, and this is chai tea, and I just boil some um, brown sugar oat milk and pour that over top of my tea bag, and I let it steep for about five minutes, and that's all it takes, just two ingredients. And it is the perfect cup of winter tea with notes of cinnamon, cardamom, and vanilla, and it is just perfect for winter. All right, y'all, we're going to start out in the entryway, which is where I always like to start with y'all, just to kind of welcome you into my home. We're going to start out by decorating my door shelf here in the entryway. I'm adding some candles, uh, a cute little bowl of white pine cones, and then, of course, my darling little white cottages. I also added in some fairy lights into these cottages, but did not get that in the video because you can never have too much light in the winter time. And then of course, my favorite piece of decor this winter is this cute little wooden box of rusty vintage bells laying in a bed of green pines. It's just so cute and adorable and everyone asks me about it when they come over or when I post photos on Instagram. Next, I'm just adding a basket to the under part of my shelf, and I am layering in this white fur rug that you guys usually see on my piano bench, but I just thought it looked warm and snowy and would be perfect here in the entryway. And then I'm adding a couple of these pillows that I purchased from Lowe's uh, just because of their cute little uh, cottage type pattern that they had. And I just wanted to warm the space up for guests when they walked into the doorway. I always say that your entryway is the first impression of your home. And it's always my goal to make everyone who steps inside into my entryway feel warm and welcomed and just relaxed. And you can do this by pieces that you add and decor and just cozy layers, um, a good smelling candle to have your home smelling good, and just soft lighting. Next, I'm going to be creating a little winter centerpiece for the dining room. I purchased this cute little white stone pot at Hobby Lobby, and I purchased these cute little shimmering eucalyptus leaves along with these pine stems, and they just made the cutest winter bouquet. I also bought several more stems to make arrangements for other rooms in my home as well. And I love setting lanterns around for winter time. I think extra lighting is so important in the winter months. So you're going to see lanterns and candles all throughout my home used in my winter decor. Next, we're going to be decorating the dining room. Now, usually you guys do not see my dining room this decked out. No, this is not my Christmas decor. 
Uh, my Christmas dining room was actually done in red and silver for gingerbread men. Um, but over on Instagram, you guys know that I love to create beautiful tablescapes. And so I teamed up with some very talented women and we created beautiful winter tablescapes um, and called it a winter wonderland to share with our friends over there on Instagram. So that's kind of what I did here. I removed all the gingerbread stuff for Christmas and I wanted to just give a cozy yet elegant uh, kind of vibe here uh, and just display the pines, the snowflakes, the shimmering crystals, just everything that represents winter and the beauty of winter to me. Um, so if you guys are not following me on Instagram, be sure to go check me out over there. And I usually post a new tablescape every single week. Going into my music room, I also wanted to keep the winter, winter wonderland theme. And so I kept up my trees and I kept the lights on them. And then I just added some rustic outdoor decor to it, such as deer and owls, uh, snowshoes and snow sleds and things like that. And listen guys, people are depressed in the winter because it's gloomy and dark outside, but your home does not have to be gloomy and dark. And I know so many people get depressed taking down their Christmas decor, but you can leave up some of those pine trees, leave up some of those lights, and make your home into a beautiful winter wonderland and keep those lights going all winter long. Next, we're gonna be moving into the kitchen. I'm not doing a whole lot in here, but I do love Mrs. Meyer's snowball scented soap for the winter months. And I'm gonna be making a winter floral arrangement for my kitchen countertop using some old rolling pins that I have. So I love collecting rolling pins because you guys know that I bake and I just wanted to display a few of those. So I'm putting them into a stone crock and I'm just adding some soft white florals and some pine stems in here uh, just to create a cozy little arrangement for my countertops. And then I'm going to be using this cake plate and just tilting it sideways to kind of add it and use it as decor instead of a cake plate. Um, cake plates turned over on their side make for beautiful backdrops. Now guys, we're going to get into some potato soup here. This is my favorite soup for the winter months. I sped this video up a little bit, but I will leave the recipe in the description for you guys. This is absolutely the best potato soup ever i've been making it this way for years and i actually have trouble eating any other potato soup because this one is so rich so creamy and perfect uh, for those cold winter days
And then of course when it snows, my kids want to make snow cream. So we wanted to add that into the video as well. So you just go out, get a huge bowl of snow. You're going to mix in a cup of sweetened uh, condensed milk or a whole can, sorry, of sweetened condensed milk, a splash of vanilla, a splash of milk. And then my little Lucy loves adding rainbow sprinkles to her snow cream as well. Next, we're going to be going into the little French cafe or the breakfast nook. And here I just have my oil lamp out, which I absolutely love. I have my tea bar all set up and ready to go uh, to serve tea when people come over on those cold, dreary days. And then here on my uh, French potato bin, I'm just adding a little lamp. Uh, with an LED uh, battery operated candle for some light because this corner is kind of dark over here. And then I'm just adding in a stone pot of candlesticks uh, just because candles remind me of winter. Next, we're going into the fireside room and we're going to be decorating the mantel. Now, I left up my pines and garlands with my twinkling lights and I added in some little wooden sleds. I'm also leaving out my birchwood logs. I'm adding in uh, some pine stems here. Birchwood logs and pines just scream wintertime to me and they're just so beautiful. I'm also adding in these cute little wooden snowshoes. And then I'm gonna be finishing this little decor piece with some ice skates. Now these ice skates, I made them look old and vintage by glazing them and then uh, steeping the shoestrings in some hot tea. So if you need to give something a vintage look, just stain it in some tea or some coffee or some glaze. Next is my little wicker basket um, on my hearth that I love to just fill with blankets. And then this is my favorite pillow that says it's so good to be home. And that's so true in the winter months. Winter is truly a time for home and just resting and nesting and being with your family and just giving your body and your mind the rest and the relaxation that it needs before the hustle and bustle of spring gets here. And remember guys, keep those lights on during the winter months. Just because Christmas is over doesn't mean we have to put them away. Keep out the candles, keep out all your little twinkling and fairy lights and all of your pines. They're going to make beautiful winter decor and they're just going to make you feel happy inside. Next, we're gonna be moving over to my little side table. And here, I just like to add uh, this cute little, uh, it's a grapevine tree, and I just add some extra pines to it. This beautiful reindeer is just glistening. He looks like he's been out in an ice storm. So I love keeping him out through the winter months as well. But anything that is pines, snowy related, I love keeping all of that decor out for winter time. And then, of course, uh, to keep my home smelling nice and fresh, I like to keep my diffuser going. Here I'm adding cedar wood, cinnamon, and cloves to my diffuser, and it's just the perfect winter blend. These items are from Hobby Lobby and I will link the diffuser for you guys. And then here at the bottom, I just keep a basket of books for some reading. Moving on to my coffee table, I like to keep this little wooden riser here. And then I'm just gonna lay down a wreath 
and just put a candle in the middle of that and I just love this little wreath it has berries and pine cones on it um, and it just really elevates the look of my coffee table for the winter months I love this little birchwood candle and it is also nestled inside of a little pine wreath. Um, and I just love keeping this lit up next to a picture of my husband and I. And then of course I keep the LED battery operated candles in my lantern. Again guys, you can never have too much light in the winter time. I don't like to use my overhead lights a lot. I love candles and lanterns and twinkling, twinkling lights um, in the winter time just for coziness and ambiance. Now guys, we're going to pour ourselves a cup of hot coffee because I'm exhausted from all this decorating and I need a little pick-me-up with some caffeine. There truly is nothing greater than just resting next to, to the fire and drinking a hot cup of coffee. I also feel so blessed to have a wood burning fireplace. Our power went out a few weeks ago uh, for about three hours and we were so lucky to have this fireplace because we had no heat um, and the temperatures were like close to zero. So I'm very thankful for this fireplace, uh, for its warmth and for its beauty. In my fireside room, guys, I wanted to keep the wintry greens and the whites um, and just the pine look in here. And if you've seen on my TV, I have a pine tree display. And uh, you guys also know that we created a, a TV frame for that. You can go back in previous videos and watch that. Well guys, that about wraps it up for my uh, winter decor ideas. I hope you guys had so much fun today. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching friends. Bye-bye.